if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is January the 3rd, 2024, and today the topic is an expected end. Good morning and happy Wednesday, y'all. Yeah, happy Wednesday. Oh... Uh, Hope you guys had a great day yesterday. Mine was just fine. I'm actually feeling a lot better. I had another day of rest. By the grace of God. Um, the guest that had signed up to be on GSL yesterday. Uh, she ended up rescheduling on her own. So that worked out in my favor. Because I wasn't really feeling up to it. And so because of that I had a full day of rest again. Um, like I said, I'm feeling much better. I'm going to try to go and do my shift at work today because uh, tomorrow is my cousin's funeral. And, um, yeah, so that's the general plan. But we'll see what the Lord do, you know. Um, you know, honestly, there is a lot on my heart and mind. And I think... Uh, <laughs> I, I feel like I guess the best thing for me to do is be transparent because that's usually what I do here. Uh, again, share the ups and downs of life <laughs> and everything like that. Um, in the hopes to be encouraging and inspiring. And I know that's one thing I was thinking about like right before I went live is how encouraging and inspiring have I been over the past couple of days um because honestly I don't know how I feel <laughs> I, I don't even it, it's it's just such a weird feeling that I feel right now such a weird place to be in mentally you know it's a brand new year and it's not that I don't feel like it's a new year and that I don't know that it's the new year, but I don't know. It, I, I I guess it's kind of like what I was talking about yesterday, you know. Uh, so anyway, that is that's playing a part in it, <laughs> um, you know, acknowledging the new year, <laughs> and then two. Um, you know, I guess just acknowledging all the things that has been going on in my life, you know. Uh, yes, yeah, from the accident to my cousin to uh, so much, so much more. And um, I don't know if I'm feeling lost today. <laughs> You know, I don't know if I'm feeling like, like, honestly, I guess I'm just in this place where it, it's, it's kind of weird. Like, cause I know, okay, the past couple of days, which is the first couple of days of the new year, um, like I said, me and my husband pretty much have been under the weather. So we've been just trying to heal, <laughs> you know, we just been trying to like get back, you know, healthy. You know, um, so I guess that is kind of taking us out of some of our routine, right? And then I'm already going to be out of my work routine based on, you know, again, the funeral. Um, and then, I mean, I've been doing the juice routine, you know, that is something that has, uh, I guess, maintained, but. I'm kind of feeling like I'm just going through the motions, right? Um, 
Now, today, I did feel led to, you know, do a deep dive and deep studies and da-da-da-da-da, you know, and here I am to do and give the juice. Um, however, you know, I guess I just took a little extra time to pray. Um, I mean, I guess I just seek the Lord, because I, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's just because, again, Last year was just so amazing, <laughs> you know, um, just from the beginning to the end. This was like, oh, you know, abundance 2023, right? Um, and I'm not saying that this year won't be just as amazing. I'm not saying that at all. I mean, who knows what the Lord's going to do, you know? Um, I'm starting the year off with everything that I left off with in 2023, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um I still got my team, you know, everything's still going and flowing. Um, it just feels a little different, you know, it feels weird, strange, I guess, to not have, like, clear goals, right, or clear, like, something to attain. So, I don't know if that, that's what it is, you know, that's different for me this year, uh, thus far. You know, I know I got stuff to do, like I said, uh, my, my main thing I need to be doing you know outside of healing but the past couple of days was focused on healing right um um outside of that <laughs> um i need to focus on this show that's coming up in in february right um, if, if the lord's will right <laughs> Let, let's be clear about that right <laughs> um and stuff but outside of that like i mean i don't know if i came into the I can't speak too much on last year. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think I came into the year with, like, so many goals. I mean, I know I was like, okay, you know, we had to go to hit a 1,000 subscribers and da 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 you know. But, you know, now that we did all of that, uh, <laughs> uh, which thank you, right? Thank you to every one of you all. Um, it's not that there isn't more to do, right? Um, there is more to do, Um it's just, I mean, not just saying I want to make sure I'm in the will of God, you know. Uh, that's what came into my heart and mind. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Has something shifted in me, right, um, due to all of the, the things that have been going on? Um I don't know, y'all. I just figured I would be open and honest, right, about this this place that I'm in, this mental place I'm in. And who knows? Um, I feel like I might need to go talk to somebody, as they say. I mean, like I said, I do have my confidants and my, my mentor and things of that nature. So I might, you know, reach out to some of them. But, you know, I have been bouncing the idea about therapy. <laughs> And things of that nature. Um, which we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to pray about it. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the Lord do. If he open up some doors for that, then cool. Um, I'm not against it. Um, and I definitely think, you know, perhaps people need it. Um, probably more people need it than, than they think. Um, and stuff. So I'm not, I'm not sitting here saying that I don't. Right, because I'm sure I do <laughs> um, need some type of therapy um, and stuff. Because we all do. We all go through stuff and, and everything. Um, so, I guess I see all of that to say, friends, that um, a lot's been on my heart and mind. And I guess that's where this topic kind of um, is inspired by, because, you know, with all of these things that was on my heart and mind, I just was like, well, Lord, you know. Uh, so I guess I just started to ask all the questions, right? Started to be like, all right, well, you know, what's going on with this? And, <laughs> you know, what happens with this? What happens with that? Um, looking into this phrase and expected in all, all of the different things. And, um, ended up 
reading more about, you know, Jesus' thousand-year reign and, and all of that. And I guess my thing is, you know, there's so much, honestly, for us to learn, explore, study uh, when it comes to the Word of God. Uh, so much that we can do it every day, as you guys witness here on the juices, still not know much of anything. Um and, and that's, if nothing else, if y'all don't get nothing else from me, right? Um, I hope that you were encouraged and inspired to get on your own journey and um, allow the Lord to lead and guide you, right, in every aspect of your life. And I guess reveal himself to you, Um and everything like that because even even in my moments right like this morning i just at some point at some point as i prayed and i cried and i didn't have the words to pray in the spirit and and it brought me peace and and um is that is that that's just something that it can't be explained you know so I don't know if anyone else has experienced that I'm sure people have I'm not saying nobody's experienced I'm just saying yeah, listen, I, I left my tissue on the other side of the room. So, um, but yeah, uh, I don't know if whoever you are listening to the sound of my voice, if you've ever experienced that. Um, I don't know, I guess I just. I just see you guys were proven to be true um, in my life. You know, it does give that peace that surpasses our understanding. And it's like, yes, you can be going through whatever. And like I said, you couldn't even have the words. But no way he's there. No way he knows. No way he cares. I mean, that, that can be everything to somebody. And I guess I'm kind of sad right now because I'm thinking about people that don't have that hope, you know, they go through life without faith, hope, love, joy, peace, they go through life without these things, uh, maybe because they were taught, you know, maybe because, you know, they grow up and they just, they just live life and they don't think that this stuff matters. They don't think, what does this have to do with life? <laughs> this Bible thing. <laughs> you know? Um, whatever, you know, they, there's so many reasons um, why. It's just so, so interesting. I don't even know. I even imagine myself to be where I'm at, you know. I know when I went live right now, I didn't think I was going to be crying. I thought I might have been just recording the juice like I always do. Yeah. 
but I feel led to share with you all my testimony. So here I am, you know, which I, I'm thankful and grateful for because I guess it just gives me, I guess the clarity, right? So Lord, I thank you for that. But yeah, so an expected end. I mean, you know, one thing we all know is that we're all going to die, right? There's very few of us <laughs> humans. Uh, only a few in the Bible now. I don't even know if there's any present day <laughs> that have, you know, gone uh, to heaven without dying. Uh, Elijah, who was the other one? Um, well, hey, Elijah is one of my favorite biblical figures, so of course I'm going to remember him. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I guess that close call, and like I said, my cousin, and just. And yeah, like I said, I mean, I can't remember who I was talking to. But I was being honest about the fact that sometimes it just feels like, and I told y'all this on the juice before, so I'm not saying nothing new that y'all don't know that I already feel. But yeah, when I go to family functions, it's just like you, you looking around and you wondering who's next and then, you know, realizing that, hey, God, it could have been me, <laughs> you know, I probably was next and then the Lord saw fit to give me another day, you know. And you're like, well, what happens next, you know? Is anybody confused about that? Because then sometimes you hear so many different things. And, and then if you don't know God and you you ain't, you don't read by that, like, that's something totally different. Like, maybe you ain't even thinking about it, you know? Maybe this ain't even no question, right? <laughs> for, for those that are living that way. But for, again, if you read Bible and things of that nature, then it's like, oh, you know, what happens? And, you know... X, Y, and Z, and then, okay, if you're a believer, this happens. If you're not a believer, that happens, you know. I said, there's only two options and and all of this. And then, uh, and then I took a little dive into, you know, looking into uh, the timeline of the end times, right, and things of that nature. And sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, like, it crosses my mind. Wondering, like, well, I know we're in the end times, right? <laughs> um, but then I know they say we always been in the end times, right? So then it's like, well, could we possibly be in, quote, unquote, like I said, uh, like uh, the tribulation period or something like that without knowing, you know, or, you know, would that be something that everybody just knows? And I'm like, I don't recall Nothing in history talking about a bunch of people being <laughs> raptured. So that means that's next, you know. So I guess it ain't happened yet. So therefore, we're not a tribulation side. You know, it's just so many questions, y'all. So many different questions. So if you're caring about any of the things that I've shared this morning in regards to what got me to this topic today, <laughs> then I hope that you will be encouraged and inspired by the things that I came across to share. All right, let me get some water. I'm out here crying, y'all. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get into Romans 14 and 8. It says, for if we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. Again, I, I like I was saying the other day, and like I'm learning, listen to that. Look. If you're a young person listening to me, I pray that you go ahead and get this understanding now. <laughs> so you don't live or you don't miss out on your older years, whatever the case may be, right? Um, if we understand that we're the Lord's, um, 
and everything is about him <laughs> and according to his will and, and things of that nature, then, I mean, hey, you know, it, it will change the way you live, you know. Uh, it will change your focus, your desires, your your needs, your wants. Um, I, I don't have anything else to add to that, really. I mean, I know we're humans, right? We want to do what we want to do. And we can. We got free will to do whatever we want to do. But, uh... I mean, the little time that I did try that, <laughs> ah, friends, listen, at least my tears now are pretty much tears of joy and tears of like, just for other people. <laughs> Back in the day, your girl probably was borderline depression, who, who knows what all I was going through, like, and not even really even knowing, just... Just going through stuff. And uh, I was just thinking I might need to go pull out my old diary. Just, just remind myself where the Lord done brought me from. Uh, but anyway. Yeah. Just something to think about, y'all. It just puts things into perspective to just understand that God is in control and we are his. And it's only beneficial to live for him. Let's keep going. So then John 11. 25 and 26 it says jesus said to her i am the resurrection and the life whoever believes in me though he die yet shall he live and everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die do you believe this i guess that's the same question for us today do we believe this um Again, I don't think a lot of us acknowledge this, so, you know, we probably don't. Um, and the interesting thing is, too, that these people, you know, they didn't have all the technology we have. They didn't have all the great whatever, you know what I'm saying? And they were able to, you know, walk and talk with the Lord and um, experience him on a whole nother level. Now, granted... You know, he lives in us, the Holy Spirit, and just a whole nother thing that I guess they didn't have, that we do have. You know, I'm sorry for anybody that's grotesque by me sniffing, but like I said, I, I wasn't sneezing or sniffing or nothing um, until I started crying, so my apologies. Um, but anyway, but basically, again, the point is that... Um, this is the deal, you know, and um, to receive the gift, we got to believe, and uh, yeah, once again, I don't have too much to add, so let me go on and keep going, <laughs> Matthew 24 and 42, therefore, stay, let me see, Stay a course, for you do not know. Okay. Oh, stay awake. <laughs> okay. Um. Therefore, stay awake, for you you do not know which day your Lord is coming. Um. I know. Yeah. People talk all the time about the rapture, right? They talk about different things. Or again, some people don't talk about nothing at all, right? We. I guess they. We live like we're going to live forever, even though we are. So, I mean, and I guess we always were supposed to live forever, right? Um, but at the same time, too, the Bible does say that, you know, we're all going to die once or whatever the case may be. And I, there was only like a select, like real few that didn't have to die. Um, so, um, with that being said, um... We don't know the day or the hour, like the Bible tells us, in a variety of ways, and in a variety of verses. And because we don't know, uh, we have to live accordingly, right? Uh, we have to stay ready, all right? So we don't have to get ready, as they say. <laughs> and um, uh, 
I mean, I guess today I can, you know, lead you on a, a little path to try to, you know, get mentally prepared uh, for what to expect according to the Bible. And, um, and that is, you guys can just check out gotquestions.org. There's an article. It's called, What is the End Times Timeline? Go check that out. Mentally, get mentally prepared. And I mean, I guess ultimately the juice is that, friends, I mean, everything is going to be happening according to God's plan, his will, his way. And, um, yeah, I mean, ultimately the juice is that, yeah, this this is unexpected. We're the only ones that need to catch up. <laughs> right, we need to catch up to God's plan. Um, that's best for you to get get on in, in alignment with God's plan. Um, but again, the choice is yours, and that's the choice. Now, the Bible verse of today is Psalm 119 and 11. It says, Thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Friends, I hope y'all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there, check out the options, consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show, but we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.